Let us pray. Almighty and most gracious God, whose very nature is to be present in good times and bad, in warm days and cold, in wind, rain, and sunny life, in laughter and in pain, in joy and in despair, in work and in play, and in all those things that are a joy of life. Open our hearts and our minds to the realities of the present here and now. Turn back, O oh God, the outer layers of ourselves and look beneath the surface to our hidden inner depths. Many of us hide behind polite dreams and wooden responses, not daring to admit to others or even to ourselves that we are vulnerable. And yet we turn to you trusting, knowing that you will handle us carefully and tenderly. Turn back the outer layers of apparent courage and find our fears. Address them in us. Acknowledge them even as you cause us to acknowledge them before you. Do it not so much to rid us of them, though we would like to be rid of them and free from fears forever. How wonderful it would be to stand in the presence of your perfect love that casts out fear. Turn back the outer layers of apparent confidence and find our worries and our anxieties. Address them in us. Acknowledge our uncertainties, even as we acknowledge them before you. Do it not so much to rid us of those fears and anxieties, though we would like them to vanish. How wonderful it would be to stand in the presence of your perfect love that calms fears, storms, and worries. Still, our plea would be more modest, to know that you are present with us and that we are not alone in our struggle with worry. Turn back the outer layers of our apparent certainty and find our doubts. Address them in us. Help us to acknowledge doubts without shame. Do it not to rid us of our doubts, for we would not want to forfeit growth that comes from ourselves and our doubts, even while we seek your purest presence. And so, O oh God, our plea is more modest to make our doubts building blocks to a finer and firmer faith, and to know that you accompany us in our journey. We ask not that you make the hard moments of life easier, except that our burdens are eased by the assurance of your companionship, heightened by the knowledge of your loving care, and strengthened by hope and shaped by love, even as was the one in whose name we pray, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 